Do you know what's living on the TV remote in your hotel room? And is your car really ready for that summer road trip? It's the Odo Show and we're back once again with the science of clean. It's almost summertime and everybody's ready to go on vacation. So this time we're talking about keeping you healthy, safe, and clean while you travel. So hit that love button, tell us in the comments below right now where you want to go this summer. Roll, Roll that, that beautiful, beautiful clean, clean footage. footage. Welcome to the Odo Show. Busting cleaning myths and misconceptions, here we go. Welcome back to the studio, guys. I'm Dave, and this is my co-host, Val. Hey, everyone. Before we start this episode, I want to take a minute to thank all of you guys for joining us. You're the reason we do this. If you like us, comment below. Maybe tag one of your friends that maybe needs a little cleaning help. And if you really love us, share this on your, on your feed. Help us grow the show. That's right. You know, you guys are the heart of our show, and we do this all for you. That's right. Now, Val, it's almost summertime, and I don't know about you, but I'm starting to think about vacation a lot. Absolutely. All and the time. Ab all the time. <laughs> So in the first half of our show this time, we're going to share some travel tips uh, that will help keep you guys a little safer, a little cleaner, a little healthier while you're out there running around this summer. That's right. And then the second half of our show is our Oda, can you Oda ban it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you know what? They say that, you know, you shouldn't really cry over spilled milk. I've heard that, yeah. Well, you know what? If that milk is spoiled, you might shed a tear or two. Yeah. Especially if you're the one that has to clean it. You got like that right. Me. So this time for our Oda Bannock Challenge, we put some milk in a glass jar with a piece of a car seat cover, left it out in the sun for two days. It is chunky and ripe and smelling right, and we are going to open that up later in the show and see if Oda Ban will take care of that spilled milk smell. You know, this is going to be a flashback for me because this actually happened to me once. Really? Yeah, I clipped a corner a little too quick and over goes the milk from the grocery store and it is just everywhere. It's soaked into the carpet and of course it's summertime, Ooh. you know, it couldn't happen in the winter. Uh -uh. And, you know, getting that smell, I just had to kind of like live with it. Oh, and it's it, horrible. It is like one of my least favorite smells. Yes. You know, Love. I've uh, had a lot of least favorite smells working here. I get to deal with this a lot. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Odoban Stinky Fish Challenge. Look for that later on on YouTube. The uh, canned rotten fish, the Surstromig. Oh, I'd... Man, we opened it up and put mm -hmm. Odoban up against that, and we took it. But if you want something funny, look up that video later. Yo, Ooh. that that is just so gross. All right, on to talking about happier things. Yes, thank it's you. It's vacation time, right? <laughs> Summertime. So uh, I know I take some uh, cleaning products with me when I go on vacation. Mm -hmm. So do you guys take cleaning products with you? If you do, what do you take? Tell us in the comments down there. Yes, let us know. How about you, Val? Do you take stuff? Oh, absolutely. What yes. do you take? Um, I usually take like a roll of paper towels and hand sanitizer. Yeah. Um, you know, you always have bottled water in the car, so I make sure to, to pack a couple extras in case there's some kind of a sticky sp you know, spill. Oh, that's a good like idea. That. I hadn't thought about yeah. that. Yeah. And I don't leave home without a four ounce Odaban on the go travel size. Oh, yeah, the travel. It says it right there Handy on the label dandy. travel size. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I always keep the four ounce and there's one in a suitcase, there's one in a car. They're all over the place. i tell you the other thing I always take with me when I'm traveling mm -hmm. is I take one of those little um, uh, travel shampoo bottles and fill it up with laundry detergent and put a label on it. That way, if you get something on your favorite shirt while you're traveling, you can wash it. You can wash it up in the sink and you're, you're ready to go with it. You know, it. that's a really good idea. Yeah, I haven't see? thought about that one. And of mm. course, our neutralizer. The yeah. new neutralizer, you throw a spray can in your suitcase and uh, if you shirt gets a little funky you know sometimes you get a little musty when you're traveling you can freshen up before you go to dinner and uh you're living right at that point that's right now uh all right so we're packing our cleaning products talking about travel how do you go do you fly do you go by car uh most of the time where we're going we go by car road trip gotta love a road love trip love road trips so do you guys do a lot of road trips uh yeah you know we take at least one maybe two a year all and the time. my thing is though is to make sure that that car's clean before we even okay. leave. You know, to me, it's the same kind of theory as when, when you get fresh wash sheets, you know, that first time Ooh, you get in those, into and them. it feels so good. Well, same thing with the car, man. You get that, that clean, you got those good vacation vibes going, and you're on the road and ready to go. Heck yeah, you know, our cars get dirty, a lot dirtier than most people think. Not only on a road trip where you're building up burger wrappers and cups and snacks and all that stuff in the car. You also get uh, germs on all those hard surfaces, all the places yeah. you touch in the car. So a disinfectant and cleaner like Odaban is great. You hit those hard surfaces, clean them, disinfect them, and then hit them with a little uh, vinyl protectant. Keeps the car smelling fresh and ready to go. That's right. And if you want to continue that, that fresh smell, we've got two other products now in our automotive line where they we have a blackout 
which is the same technology as the uh, neutralizer, yep. the 360 neutralizer. It's scent free. Um, and then we also, if you like, you know, a little smell with it, we have the odor eliminator in disinfectant. So you got a one-two punch with that one. And it's the Cotton Breeze smell. Yeah, that the Cotton Breeze is really, really nice. Yeah. And that's one of the only places you can get the Cotton Breeze is in the auto right now. I'm going to teach you this chemistry thing sooner rather than later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, uh, once you're traveling, it's always a good idea. You're talking about keeping the car clean and we yep. get this mountain of, yep. of stuff. I always like every time we stop and fill up the car, Clean out the car. Throw away the burgers. Throw away That's the wrappers. Awesome. You, that way you're cleaning as you go. Right. And you know what? And if you've got little kids, get them involved with oh, yeah. that too. You know, that actually makes them a little, you know, happier too. They've got something to do. It kind of breaks up the trip a little That's bit. That's a good idea. Yeah. Now I always try to keep what I call my go bucket in there too. I've got a little uh, car wash bucket and I put a half a roll of paper towels in there. I put one of our 360 spray Odaban disinfectants, one of our Oxy trigger spray uh, Oxy spot cleaner for the pets, and then uh, a couple of the um, microfiber towels and some glass cleaner oh, too. I love the microfiber towels. Yeah, the microfiber yeah, we've towels got to are talk great. About those. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you some information on that in a later episode. We'll, we'll showcase those a little yeah. bit. This way, you got a bucket of cleaning supplies. If you spill something in the car, if the dog has an accident, which happens when you're traveling with the dog, fail. <laughs> you can go ahead and clean it up, take care of it, and you're not having to sit through that and deal with it the whole trip. Right, right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Absolutely. Now. Let's say you're not going by car. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're going to the islands. Isn't can that nice? We, can we? I want to go to the <laughs> So you get on the airplane, right? Everybody likes to fly or hop on the cruise boat. You know, you can't just take any cleaning products on those like you can in your car. No. So before you go, check with your TSA website. Check the website for your airline. Check mm -hmm. the website on your cruise. There's some specific restrictions there on That's what you can idea. take cleaning-wise. You don't want to be the guy that has his suitcase tossed out on the tarmac because you brought something you shouldn't Your have. Your vacation's right. ruined before it even gets started. Yeah, so always yeah. check on that. Now, I'll give you one pro tip because I travel a good bit for work and fly. Here's something we never thought about before. Your cell phone is probably the germiest thing that you encounter on a daily basis. Ooh. So what do you do when you get on the plane, right? You pull your phone out of your pocket and you stick it in that pocket in the seat in front of you. Right where the guy before you stuck his phone and his germs. Never stick your phone in the pocket. You're just sharing germs with everybody that's sitting in that seat since they cleaned it last, and the Lord knows how long that's been. And you know that they don't clean, clean in those no, pockets. Uh -uh, no, no, no. But you know what? I'm pretty safe on that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, because I forget things so easily. Oh. So mine doesn't go there. It winds up back in my purse or on my yeah, person. Yeah, see, that's smarter. So. I don't know how many times I've gotten halfway down the aisle and been like, oh, wait, my phone, and gone back for yeah, it. So, so I guess there's a silver lining to being, you know, a little bit forgetful. There you go. So. Avoid the pocket, avoid the germs, and avoid losing your phone. That's right. That's right. Okay. So we've we've traveled and we've gotten to our destination. Let's talk about germs in a hotel room. Oh, you know, that's kind of the horror story everybody hears, right? Germs in the hotel. Yes, yes. You see this all the time. So, okay, we're going to take a little Dave Science minute here. And we're going to talk about germs in general for a second, okay? Okay. Because we talk about this, I don't want anybody to be terrified by the germs out there. There are germs on everything all around us. Most of the germs don't bother us at all. Even the ones that bother us, they're called pathogenic germs. They're the ones that actually make us sick, are probably on the surfaces around you right now in your home. There could be bad things like MRSA or staph or E. coli around all the time. But because our bodies are used to dealing with them, if you're in pretty good health, it's not really a big issue. Right. However, when you travel, you're a little worn out, you're a little tired, maybe you had a lot of fun the night before, your body's going to be at a little lower level, you might be more susceptible to these things yeah. than you normally are. So it's a good idea to know where the germ centers are in the hotels and traveling and just try to avoid them and take precautions. That's right. So where would you, like, say, use the, the, you, the, the regular four-ounce spray? Like the where, disinfectant over yeah, the, yeah, the disinfectant. Okay, so I was reading a study the other day. Uh, groups studied three-star, four-star, and five-star hotels and looked at the germiest places in the rooms. Hmm. Number one in all of them was, of course, the bathroom counter. Bathroom, yeah, I can yeah, see that. Makes sense. Don't yep. put your toothbrush down on that counter. Oh, no. <laughs> the number two in most of them was the hotel TV remote. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. Now, the one that kind of surprised me was the third place was the light switch nearest the bed. Really? Yeah, well, think about it. The last thing you do before you go to bed is reach over and turn the lights off. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I never thought about that. Yeah, it's kind of gross. So, if you're going to stay in a hotel room, you want to disinfect it. It'll hit the hard surfaces, the light switches, the uh, doorknobs, perhaps, the little Odoman disinfectant. Clean Spray that the out. carpet. 
Freshen up the carpet. I always it never use hurts. slippers whenever I'm in a hotel. That's room. a good point. Yes. Now for the TV remote, you probably don't want to soak that down in disinfectant because, of course, it's an electronic piece. You just short something <laughs> and out. And you'll find that on your bill. <laughs> yeah, you will. So put it in a plastic bag. Take a Ziploc bag. Zip up the hotel remote. Mm -hmm. Now you're contacting the plastic bag instead of all the buttons on the hotel re uh, remote. Now right. the other thing you can do, even if you don't disinfect the hotel room. So you forgot your Odaban. You forgot your Odaban. You're in a rush. Wash your hands. Wash your hands more frequently than you normally would yep. because there's nothing that prevents getting sick as well as just basic hand washing. That's right. That's right. All righty. So, you know what? All good vacations have to come to an end. Sadly, that's true. Yeah, it is. So, when you get home, you've got what? Laundry. Laundry. And I'll tell you, the last thing we always do when we're at the beach, you pack everything up. But you got to make that one last beach run, right? Go down yes. and swim. Do you guys do that? It's a must. It absolutely it is. is. Mm -hmm. And speaking of must, it's musty. Yeah, you come back with those wet clothes. What do you do with them? You put them in a plastic bag. Throw them that's in a plastic right. bag, seal it up. So that smell, that mildew smell yeah. that you get when you get in the, in the pool and you put the clothes away wet, that's actually the mildew producing uh, octanoic acid and some other compounds. Yeah, try to remember that. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a quiz later. <laughs> So those are the things you smell is the compounds that this bacteria is producing. Now, if you're going swimming in the ocean, you've got a whole lot of organic matter in the ocean. Okay, that's fish poop. That's a little bit easier to remember. Yeah, yeah, fish poop. <laughs> fish poop and other things, plankton, bacteria, stuff from the soil, even runoff from the, from the land sometimes. Right, right. Well, when you put that in the bag and you open it up when you get home, man, you've got the ocean funk going on. And if you've ever experienced that, it is rough. It is, it is. So always remember, if you've got to deal with wet clothes, bag it and tag it. Throw it in a bag, tag it with some Odaban or our neutralizer, tie it up tight and take it home. Now, as soon as you get home, as soon as you can, don't let them sit. Pull them out, throw them in the washing machine, and in your wash, in a softer cycle, put some of the Odaban concentrate in. The eucalyptus is great, knocks down that, uh, that funky ocean smell, and suddenly all you got is fresh clothes again. Okay, speaking of concentrate and funky ocean smells, any of you that are scuba divers, you know how funky your wetsuits smell when you get those home yeah. and pull them out of your bag. Well, we've got a solution for you. You take two ounces of our concentrate and you put it in a bucket of, of water, well, gallon size, you know, and just take your wetsuit and dunk it and get it all good and soaked and hang it up and let it air dry. And I'm telling you, that will knock that smell right out. Yeah, we actually do a pretty good business with a lot of the rental dive shops. Mm -hmm. They use Odaban to clean those rental dive suits so the next customer comes in, it doesn't smell like ocean funk and pee. Well, you know what? Hmm. They always say that there's two types of divers. Okay. There's those who pee in their wetsuit and those who lie. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> I guess that's one way to stay warm in the wetsuit. Yeah, it really is. I don't think I want to think about that anymore. <laughs> uh, so okay, on to the next thing. On to the next thing. So <laughs> if you were thinking ahead when you went on vacation, you might have downloaded our podcast so we could hang out with you on the beach. You could take the Odo Show to the beach with you. Take us with you. Because the Odo Show podcast is you can get it on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, and most of your other normal podcast suppliers. That's right. So why don't you go ahead right now and subscribe to our podcast and leave us a good review on there. And that way you're all good to go whenever you take off for your vacation. That's right. You know, hey, maybe we could do a live remote from the beach. Wouldn't <gasps> that be cool? Hey, Jack, can, Jack. We, can we not? No, no. There's no... No but no budget. There's no budget. We okay. tried. We tried. Well, Jack kind of looks like he smelled something bad. Well, why don't why doesn't we have him do the Odaban challenge? Oh, then? the Odaban challenge. The stinky face. Can you Odaban it? Can it's almost Odoban time for Can you Odaban it? All right. So why are we, here we so go. excited about I don't that? Know, smelling bad stuff. <laughs> I've kind of gotten in this habit, sort of. It's because Jack tells us it's to. It's because Jack tells us to. <laughs> Get excited. That's what he tells us. Get excited. Yeah. <laughs> so the Odaban challenge. This is where we put Odaban up against the stinkiest things we can find. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and glove up for this one. <laughs> we, no exams, please. No, no exams, please. <laughs> we took, uh, you, I, the, the jokes never end when you put on the gloves. They really don't. Uh, no. <laughs> so we put some fresh milk in a jar with a car seat cover, left it out in the sun for two days. Who comes this up with stuff, I don't know. <laughs> So this stuff, excuse me guys, has been getting, I don't know if you can see the chunks that are floating in this. <coughs> this is nice. Man, I think I need some Captain Crunch. <laughs> I think okay, take a whiff of that. Oh yeah, that's good <coughs> stuff. All right. Mm, yeah, Ugh. that brings back some bad memories. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, oh yeah, pull this out and wring out the excess juice. Oh, oh yeah, that's good stuff. Get the Odaban ready, please. Oh, okay. 
All right, here we go, guys. Woo! Ooh, sorry about the camera lights. <laughs> wow. Is it better? It's... Are you lying? Nah, I'm not lying. Wow. See, I actually knew this was a, was a home run, because I've done this test in the lab before. This Why is something we do this? all the time. Why didn't they have this when I spilled it in my car? <laughs> I mean, just, they had it. I just didn't just know. Didn't know about I it. didn't know about it. So that was an easy one, guys. <laughs> Odaban one, spilled milk zero. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We need Easy a better victory. challenge. So remember, if you can't stand it, Odaban it. it. Now, you want to know what we're doing next time on Can You Odaban It? I what are we doing? I have no idea. You guys have to tell us what we're doing. Please. Drop it in the comments. Let us know what you want to see us Odaban. So if you can't stand it, Odaban it, and let us know what we should be Odabanning. And you that's know what? I threw right. away all my note cards. I have Here, no clue where we are. You can cheat off of me. Actually, I can cheat off of you. So. Love us. We hope you guys are having a good time with us. we got a contest coming up. But before that, we want to say once again, thank you for being here. We love you, you guys. Hit the love button. Share us with your friends. and uh, Share the love, people. Share the love. We hope you guys have picked up some travel tips, something that you can use this summer, like wrap that uh, TV remote up, wrap that rascal. That's right. And you know what? Actually, the one about the light switch in the hotel room. Yeah, that's kind of a neat tip. I'm never going to forget that yeah, one. Yeah, every time you see a light switch, you're going to be like, mm, yep, no. I learned something new. Don't, don't lick it and don't do that. <laughs> so we hope you have fun this summer. <laughs> Also, want to say we got a shout out to uh, all of our fans out there with kids. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. We love you guys. We're glad to be a part of you taking care of your family with Odaban. We're proud to be there with you. And uh, thank you guys for being part of our family. That's right. So now we get on to do we have any questions? Oh, look. Yep, I love this part the Odaban mailbag. We got questions. Uh, Miss Sandra P says, Do you have travel sizes? We just started selling travel four size. ounce travel size Odaban ready to use in. Eucalyptus, eucalyptus and lavender. lavender it's going out to the home depot stores it just started shipping out so keep an eye out for it in the air freshener section of your local home depot and check homedepot.com online that's, that's right. uh, currently the only travel size we actually have out there now next uh dina everton says is the fragrance used in this product safe for kids and pets fragrances are a complex topic is it safe safe depends on you some people have heightened senses and heightened reactions to fragrances. So we always tell people ours is a very heavily fragranced product. That's on purpose. So if you have sensitivities, please approach it with caution. Now those happen sometimes, but the vast majority of the population is just fine with ours. It's used in a lot of industrial and commercial situations where a lot of people have exposed. We very seldom get any issues with it all. Right. But as with any fragrance, Please take it with caution if you have sensitivities or asthma with that. So, uh, you know, normally we leave with you guys with a video. Sometimes it's a product video, sometimes not. We've had so much fun <laughs> shooting this vacation episode. We're going to leave you guys with a uh, blooper reel. This was from shooting that pre-reel that you see at the beginning of the show. I know this looks easy, but it really isn't. <laughs> yeah, we don't do this right the first time every time. <laughs> but Trust we sure me. have a lot of fun. Yeah, the live's always good for that. So, all right, you guys got a blooper reel. We look forward to seeing you next time, and we're going to leave you with... Make, Make life, life fresh. fresh. So we've got giveaways for the year. <laughs> We're glad you're here with us. So hit that love buck buck. Everybody's ready for vacation. So in this episode, roll, roll that clean. beautiful clean footage. Roll that clean footage. Roll that beautiful clean footage. Bean footage. Roll that beautiful clean footage. Wait for the truck. <laughs>